There are two ways that you can do a felling stitch. The first one is done by most finishers, and it's a very fast and quick way to sew, let's say, linings or any other folded edges to your material. So this is how it goes. You have a folded edge here, and you're going to bring your needle in into your main fabric, and then you're going to take a small bite and come out right on the edge of the crease, put the needle through, right on the crease edge, through the crease edge actually, and you're going to pull through. So with your next stitch, you're going to go ever so slightly in front of where the thread comes out, into your main fabric, take a small bite and come forwards through the crease line, right on the edge, and you're going to be like an eighth in front of where the thread came out. And you're going to pull through. Like so. And that's going to create a small diagonal stitch. Obviously, if you have a finer thread, like a hand silk or like a machine thread, it's going to be less visible. But it still will be visible. And again. You go into your main fabric slightly in front of where the thread comes out, through the crease edge, right on the edge, and you're going to pull through like so. And you're going to repeat this over and over and over. Like so. So when you look at it, you can see these small diagonal stitches. And these stitches are going to be holding your lining or your fabric to your main material. Now, I'm not a big fan of this stitch because it just doesn't look that professional. So which one do I prefer? I prefer the other way, which is, I think, also called a wiggle stitch. And this is how it goes. Let's say we fasten this off right here. Cut through, and we're going to start slightly further right here. So again, you're going to start into your main fabric. Then instead of going through this crease edge like so, what you're going to do is you're going to only go through the first layer, so the seam allowance, only through this layer, not through the top layer. And the way you're going to do, do that is like the following. You're going to go in, push through, but not all the way, just a tiny bit. And as soon as you feel you're in between those two folds, you're going to wiggle your needle back into the fabric. And then again, wiggle it back, push through, but not all the way, only through the first layer, and then wiggle back. And you're just going to wiggle the needle in between. And after three or four stitches, you're going to come out your main fabric like so. And you're going to repeat. So I'm going to just going to repeat that. Now, interestingly, this second type of felling is done a lot easier if you have a bigger needle. Let's say a number five or a number six or a number seven. Whereas this one is done a lot easier if you have a smaller needle. So let's say a eight, seven, nine, something like that. So you can see clearly the difference. If you look at it from the top, you can see these stitches showing through. Even if it was the same color or a finer thread, you would still see it. Because basically what you're doing is you're wrapping the thread over and around the, the folded edge. Whereas with this one, you can't really see the stitches. So even if you pull back, they are kind of invisible. Although this is a heavy, dark thread on a lightweight fabric, compare that to this. And if you just let it go and you press it, you just see a nice crease edge as if it's glued on top. So now you know two ways of which one is a better way of doing your felling.